The Bible says the children of Israel would have yokes of iron upon their necks. Due to you know, it's good that a lot of this information is coming out. And I'm not going to lie, I've noticed this whole um, black Jew thing since 2016. And it actually took, you know, some time to actually look into it. You know, it took a couple years, actually, to look into it. And throughout all the research I've done, um, it's not talking about us. Not us Afro-Americans. It's more likely talking about um, the Limba. You know, they're known to have a little bit of Jewish DNA. And I believe they're like in Southwest Africa or somewhere in West Africa. And then you have <clears throat> the Ethiopian Jews. have been around for, jeez, they've been around forever. <laughs> Long ass fucking time. Really, those are the only Jews that are black. And no other group out there, you know, no Native Americans, you know, not us. None of that. Hispanic. So I understand, but, you know, there's a lot of people who just don't understand the concept of what they're actually reading. It's like many, you know, when you get too excited about something, you know, you get really into it, and then you start taking it a whole nother way. Nope, you gotta slow down and think about what you're doing. Yeah, but definitely one of the uh, best books I've read about the um, whole uh, Black Jew thing is from Babylon to Timbuktu. So I suggest reading that. That book has been around for a very long time, you know. So but overall, what I wanted to say is, you know, we're not the Jews. If anyone would like to contest me on this, feel free. But, you know. All right, shalom, shalom, Makim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, Yahweh being a true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being a true name of the world, and he called Jesus Christ. Let it give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to our brothers out there throughout the full conserve, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazatba from the DC Church, come back on a quick lesson. Did this prepare you how by Shemel Shai? And as you saw in the first video, you know, you got another knucklehead <clears throat> of our people, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that obviously does not believe, say they have done the research, say they read the scriptures, but guess what? The Spirit of the Lord was not given unto them to understand. Okay. All right. Saying that we're not the Israelites. Okay. Saying that so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are not the Israelites. All right. And saying this because of the, oh, they read books and this, that, there, no DNA was shown. Okay. All right. But, you know, they failed to understand prophecy. Okay. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. This is how we know, according to prophecy, who are going to be the Israelites in these times? Okay. Who are going to be known as the children of Israel according to the prophecies? Who fit these prophecies? Okay. All right. And a great example, as brothers always go into, is Deuteronomy chapter 28. That whole chapter lists what? Things that are going to happen unto the Israelites if they did not hearken unto this word. And the scripture says it's going to be a sign. Okay. Unto what? Un upon our seed. Our, upon our lineage, our bloodline, all right, you know, forever, meaning a long time, okay, all right, it's going to be, it's going to be known through that bloodline, all right, what's happening to them, all right, that bloodline fulfilled this, uh, all right, and, and, and who are those people that uh, fulfill these things, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you cannot name any other people on this planet that have gone through every single one of these things, okay, but the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. Okay. All right. So I want to quickly get this. All right. Because this is what the Lord promised. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get this. Because the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. Let's get that. Let's see. Lord. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Let's see, let's get this. This is suck, yeah. All right, because yeah, how about Shemuel Shai, who the only calls God in Jesus Christ, does not lie? Okay, hold on. This is Numbers 23 and 19. It says, The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shah, is not a man 
that he should lie. All right. So what the prophecies are the words of the heavenly father. OK, uh, what the future, the words about the future. OK. All right. It says, yeah, yeah. How the most high. All right. There's only begotten son all right, is not a man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man. So what the heavenly father is only begotten son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Do not lie. OK. Lord Yahweh Shai is the word. OK. The heavenly father uh, who the word in because God, he does not lie. OK. Lord Yahweh Shai does not lie. OK. It says neither the son of man that he should repent. I mean, take back these words. OK. All right. Everything that's written in this book either has happened already, is happening as we speak, or going to happen in the future. Okay, all right. Prophecy, prophecy, uh, uh, prophecies have been fulfilled, are being fulfilled right now, and will be fulfilled, both past, present, and future. Okay, it says that he should repent. Have he said? Have he said? And shall he not do it? Have he spoken? And shall he not make it good? Okay, meaning what? Has the Lord ever said anything and it never happened? No. Everything that Yahweh Bashim al Shai has told his men, his servants, the prophets, okay, that was going to happen either has happened, okay, Noah, you know, with the flood, uh, 70 AD, and uh, us going to slavery, all these things, for, which is, tells you in Deuteronomy 20, 20 chapter, these things, some of these things already happened, okay, and are still happening as a, what, as a sign on who are the Israelites? Okay, all right. This is a clear sign, and this this dude he just obviously does not believe. Okay, you know you got many people that was like, oh, what makes your Israelites? Y'all get your DNA test? No, it's the prophecies. Okay, what the Lord said. The Lord is not a man that he shall lie. Okay, these people believe the Lord is a liar. Okay, all right. So now let's go get this right. This is what the Lord uh, said unto the nation of Israel. Okay. It says, let's see. It says, yeah, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Okay. All right. We're going to read what's going to happen unto the nation of Israel for not hearkening to what the word of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by taking heed unto us. What happened to our people? Okay. According to prophecy, it says, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power. Okay, the voice of the Lord, which will start off with the men, all right, that the Lord has set up. The Lord said in uh, Second Chronicles 20 and 20, okay, to not only just believe in him, but to believe his prophets and he shall prosper. Okay, but our people didn't want to hear the voice of the Lord, the prophets, the men of the Lord. Okay, all right, who were inspired by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, it says to observe and to do all his commandments, all the commandments of the Bible, okay, because this whole book is a commandment, a way of life, uh, how to be as Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whether you believe it or not, okay? It says, and his statues, which I command thee this day. So our people did not hearken unto what these words, these are the things that's going to be happening to them, right? It says that, the, that all these curses, meaning everything from verses, what, 16 on down to the last verse, okay? has happened unto our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, okay? It's going to come upon us and overtake us, okay? Let's get that definition of the word overtake, okay? All right, because these curses, okay, according to the Bible, are going to overtake the nation of Israel, okay? All right? You don't see the uh, uh, Ethiopians going through this, man, huh? okay? You know? Overall, you don't see the Ethiopians going through this. You don't see the uh, so-called Africans, which we are not, all right, going going through this. Okay, all right, but the Israelites, man. So anybody that's going through these curses, hey, man, this is a sign unto who's the nation of Israel, man. Okay, all right, especially in these times, it says overtake is a verb. It says to come up to, to catch up with. All right, so if you even thought you got away. <laughs> The curses, those curses were to what come upon you, come up, come up on you, okay, catch up with, the catch in pursuit. So the curses are gonna be following you everywhere you go, everywhere. It says the running down, the catching of a fugitive. Because why we broke the law, statute, commandments. All right, so these curses are on us, like like a fug, like a dog on a fugitive. 
Okay. It says a beast of chase. All right. So <laughs> no matter where we went, all right, these curses chased us like a uh, like a, a beast with a roe, with a deer. Okay. Was on that ass. Okay. I said to take by surprise, to come on unexpectedly. Okay. When we least expected, these these curses came upon us. Okay. For not hearkening unto the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. All right. Now going back. It says what? It says that that all these curses shall come upon thee and t overtake thee. Okay. All right. And now one of the uh, scriptures that came to mind is that what? Like we always going to. There's some so much of the all the scriptures from verses 16, Deuteronomy 16. Okay. On down to the last verse shows you what was happening gonna happen unto the Israelites. It's gonna be an indicator. Okay. Now I want to quick grab this one. And see. Yep, here it is. All right. It says what? This is a uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. It says, And they shall be upon thee, meaning what? The curses. Okay. The curses. Matter of fact, let's read verse 45. It says, Moreover, all these curses, not not some, okay. Ha the people that is written writing about they have to fit all these curses all right all right sir when was, when was the uh the uh ethiopian sold into slavery for bond men and bond women and no man redeemed them meaning no man buy them back no man saved them okay no man came and t on their behalf to to free them from slavery okay who 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 did that? Okay, who who fits those those curses, man? I know. All right, according to history, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, it says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and shall and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Okay, I mean what? Those curses gonna be on our ass so much until our people are completely destroyed. All right, what nation of people on this planet? All right are destroyed to this day so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay it says because thou hearkest not unto the voice of yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee it says and that they shall be upon thee for a sign okay all right these curses were a sign it says, and for a wonder upon thy seed forever. All right. These things were going to be upon our people forever. Okay. All right. Until what? Our Lord Yahweh Shai comes and delivers the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. But, but until then. All right. Guess what? These curses are a sign. Okay. Hence, the, as a matter of fact, let's get that word definition of word sign. Because Jake, Jake acts slow. They think they, because they read other books okay all right because we read other books but it all goes go hand in hand with the scriptures okay because we understand it says a sign right a sign it says a gesture a motion of the hand it says especially one meant to communicate something okay so the lord said what well, these curses what was going to happen to our people is going to be what indicating something communicate something okay and what is that communication? It says a sign, a mark from the Latin, a uh, uh, signum. It says identifying mark. Okay. Identifying mark. All right. A sign is something to identify somebody. And what is those curses? Those curses identify what? The nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans only fit that. Okay. All right. That is the identifying mark or who will be the Israelites in these times. It says a token, an indication, okay, a symbol, proof, all right? You said we have no proof, right? But it says a, what? A, a sign is going to be proof that we are the Israelites, okay? It says um, proof. It says military standard. It says ensign. It says a signal, an omen, a sign in the heavens, <laughs> okay? All right? This is what? A sign on earth, man. Okay, that what we are, we are those people, the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It says now an omen, right? An omen, it says a, ca a casual event of occurrence supposed to 
per, uh, portend good or evil. OK, it says for for bodying, uh, see some more omen to give indication of the future. So it gives an indication of who are the Israelites in these times. All right. If you don't believe, just say you don't believe, man. All right. But you cannot uh, um, you cannot say that we are not the Israelites, man. You can say because you don't believe. But according to prophecy, all right, you cannot deny all right, that we are the Israelites because no one else in the world, all right, has fit these prophecies, man. And like we always do, you know, people like to go to the scripture and say that, you know, we never been through this. But matter of fact, let's read it. It says, let's see, uh, let's see, um, oh, here's a good one. It says, Mm, 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 mm. Here's, yeah, here's a good one right here. This is uh, um, Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 65. It says, And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. And this is not our people. Our people got to work eight, <laughs> eight to nine jobs and stuff. You know, Jake working, um, trying to make ends meet. Okay, never really having rest. Okay. J got hella bags under their eyes and all that stuff, man. Okay. You know, always, you know, got to work. It says, but Yahweh Bashimel Shai shall give thee, give thee there a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of mind. Our people are through. People are crying of why they're going through it. Who, who, what only nation is going through that? Okay. What only people are going through these things? Okay. The nation of Israel. Okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans are down and out throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in Babylon the Great. Okay, it says, and then that and it says, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Our people came and go outside. There's a there's a known saying amongst the amongst the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, of you know, telling their kids, you know, um, how to get home safely. Okay. You know, you you're, you send out your kids into the world not not knowing if they're going to come back alive. You don't even know if you're going to come back alive once you step out the house. OK, you can't even sit in your house and be uh be comfortable because it's been times in America. What where Esau will kick down your door? OK, and what? And, and arrest you in your own home. All right. And, 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 and body you or right, send you to the spiritual realm in your own home. So your life is going to hang in doubt. You don't know if you're going to live to see the next day. Okay. It says, and thou shalt fear day and night and have no, and have none assurance of life. Okay. You don't know. There's no guarantee that you're going to live in this place, America, man. All right. And that's a, that's the known thing amongst the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. What we've been telling our children, man. Okay. You know, I'll pray before you go out, you know, oh, you know, be careful. You know, be careful out there. Watch your back. You know, do everything that's right. Cross it, cross your T's and dot your I's. You know, that's what Jake says to the nations. Don't got to say that to their children. OK. All right. Amalek, uh, Moab, Elam. OK. All right, which is the I'll just name so-called Chinese, Japanese, the uh, so-called uh, dot heat, dot head East Indians. OK. The Kushites who are uh, Elam, Elam. OK. OK, don't have to do that. OK. All right. The the uh, the Hamites, the real Africans that come over here don't have to do that. OK. Only the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man, have no assurance of their life. It says in the morning thou shalt say would the most high it says would the most high it given even given even and at evening thou shalt say would the most high would the most high it were morning so you're like lord please let me see the day lord please let me see the the morning for the fear of thy heart with wherewith thou shalt fear okay and for the sight of thy eyes thou shalt thou shalt and for the sight of thy eyes thou shalt see okay all right the lord <laughs> the 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 Israelites are going to be asking the Lord just to see day and day to day. Okay. All right. And here's the last one. What? It says, And Yahweh Bashimel Shah shall bring thee 
into Egypt again with ships. Okay. Now that word Egypt uh, goes into what? Mizraim means house of bondage. That's what Egypt means. House of bondage. Slavery. Okay. All right. Because what, what was the nation of Israel doing in Egypt? We were in slavery. Okay. Under the Egyptians. And how... Well, it's not ever recorded in history of what Israel going to Egypt, the actual Egypt again with ships. So what is it saying? They went into slavery again, but this time with ships. What does that fit? Who are the only people on the, on the planet who's gone into slavery with ships? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You can't find any other people. Okay. Especially them damn Kushites, man. Okay. They hasn't gone to no damn slavery on, on slave ships, man. Okay. So you people, you just don't want to believe, man. But the prophecies are clear as hell, okay? It says, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt, thou shalt see it no more. Talk about our land, okay? And there shall, and, and there shall, to suck it, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, which you were, who is our enemies? So The so-called white man, Sleazy Ed, Edomite, Okay? The Arab, because we sold them to the Arabs too. The Chinese, all the nations. We've been sold them to the nations, all right? It says, for bond men and bond women. I mean, slave men, slave women, all right? It says, and no man shall buy you. Now, we're buy goes into redeem. No man's going to redeem you, all right? As so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, no one came and said, hey, stop this, man. These are the children of Israel. You got to stop. This is the apple of the Lord's eye. Nobody did that to us, Okay? Nobody did that for us. Okay? So we have to be those people. That is the sign. Okay? If you don't believe it, that's on you. Okay? All right? If you don't believe these words, that's on you. All right? All right? Shall the shall their disbelief make the faith of Yahweh by Shemal Shah without effect? God forbid. Okay? So, so what if they don't believe? Matter of fact, the scriptures tell you what's going to happen to those who don't believe. Let's get that. All right, because our people want to come up against, you know, the the prophecies. Okay, cool. Guess what? The Lord said this is going to happen unto you because you don't believe. Right? Let's start at this. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse one. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecies, the words of the future prophecy." Okay, telling you what was going to happen. Okay, all right, unto the Israelites in these times, man. All right. And what's going to happen unto these nations and two thirds of our people who don't want to hearken unto this word, man. All right. It says and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. We just read that what the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. OK. And written in paper, which is the Bible. These words are faithful and true. Meaning everything in this book either has happened, is happening right now or will happen. OK. It says fear not the imaginations against thee, which we just saw a video of somebody's imagination that was against us. All right. You know, in his mind, he he was against us being Israelites, and he's an Israelite him damn self. Okay, all right. Uh, people want to harm us. We don't we don't care about that, man. It says what? Let not the incredulity mean unbelief, non-believers. Okay, of them trouble thee. So just because this man doesn't believe or these women don't believe, who, whoever. Okay, all right. So what? So what? Okay. It says, let not the incredulity of them. Uh, of them trouble thee that speak against thee because why it says for all the unfaithful all those that do not believe okay that we are the israelites okay shall die in their unfaithfulness they will die they shall perish they're gonna go to the spiritual realm and be ashamed they're gonna be confounded at the end of the day all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness point blank period so you don't believe Good, good for you. Kudos for you, man. We know according to the scriptures what's going to happen unto you. Okay? What, what the Lord didn't say the faithful are going to die. It says the unfaithful, all right, are going to die in the unfaithfulness, their unbelief. Okay? All right? So you don't want to believe? Hey, man, the Lord already said what's your judgment for not believing. All right? You don't believe in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. Okay? And that we are what uh, are, are the... Because uh, if you don't believe in prophecy, you don't believe in Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? All right? Because his spirit... Is what the spirit of prophecy, okay, telling us what the signs and wonders and the proof, okay, 
all right, of these scriptures, man. So, you know, just want to cook and get that in the spirit. Just saw that video and, you know, I had to, had to do a response, man. Okay, we are the people according to scriptures, according to prophecy. That is our proof. That is our sign. If you don't believe so, all the unfaithful are going to die in the unfaithfulness, man. So with that, let us give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Kadash. Let to give double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to the brothers out there, to the folk. Pushing his word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the let we say shalom.